How do you look at your team headed into the postseason? Well, we're healthy. Uh, we're excited. And, and those are two things that, that have to be in place for you to have any kind of opportunity. So from that standpoint, I think we're in good shape. And I think at this point, even though you don't know who you're going to play, there aren't many secrets in conference play anymore. They know you, you know them. It's more about what you want to do and imposing your will on the other team. I would say that's very accurate. And, and generally, guard play carries you through these. Uh, you have to have guards that uh, can go play for three days. Uh, guards that can play in a lot of different situations, can make shots if they're zoned, uh, can penetrate and kick. Uh, if, if they're not, they can play under pressure, presses, all those things. And uh, that's why we always talk about the importance of guard play. Are you happy with your guard play? They were a little off shooting the ball early on and on, on Saturday night, and you found another way to win. I, I was pleased with our offensive patience and selection uh, when our shot making was not there. Uh, because sometimes you can go fire them up like we did at Western Kentucky and uh, not make any at 0 for 17 and, uh, and, and continue to shoot them and maybe shoot yourself in the foot. And we didn't do that. We uh, understood that it wasn't our night. We played through our bigs. They shot free throws. We were able to squeak out a win. Yeah, Coach, was, why is it going to take, take, uh, take the team to the NCAA tournament? What's that? Why is it going to take to make it to the NCAA tournament? Well, we're going to have to win three games uh, against a variety of opponents. We're going to have to be resilient. We're going to have to play against a variety of different defenses. And... Uh, and we're going to have to uh, probably make our free throws, which uh, we're two and five when we have not made our free throws. So uh, those are those are big stats. You're going to be asking a lot out of C.J. Cooper and, and the other two seniors as well. But you mentioned guard play, and, and C.J. Is, is really going to be critical. He really is. Um, you know, C.J. Uh, has had stretches where he's been as good as any guard in our league. Um, and, and we're going to need that type of performance from him. He, he's a, uh, a guy who certainly has the game experience, he has the know-how. Uh, I think he has the poise, and, and that's important as well. Uh, there's no easy games, but just looking at your draw, I, I, I would think that that's the, the best of any situation you could have, be playing early to avoid law attack, avoid UAE. Yeah, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to take the positive side of it. If we were playing uh, the Chicago Bulls, I'd say, yeah, you know, boy, I like the draw, I like the bracket and this and that. I also um, have been down the road enough to know that any of these teams can beat you because of what's at stake for their teams. And, and uh, you can never underestimate the will of your opponent and, and, um, and what they're comprised of and, um, and what's at stake for them. So, uh, you know, playing hard, playing with great effort, um, not turning the ball over, all those things are smart, but, uh, you know, Looking at, at uh, either team that we're playing, we do know that uh, Florida International had us beat 64-63 with 22 seconds to go. And uh, we got a, a tip in from a point guard who was supposed to be back on defense. Um, uh, we, uh, you know, we're, we're down five to Rice at, at, at home here in our last ball game. And then UTSA, who might be our other opponent, had us down 26-14 at home and the buzzards were circling here. So, you know, it's not like we're just going to show up and go play on a neutral floor and it's going to be easy. What do you tell players after 30 games? What do you tell them? Well, you, 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 uh, you work on us. You, you work on who we are. Uh, you game prep with a, in a variety of different options and looks. Um, uh, might we need some zone? Might we need uh, to trap the post? Might we need uh, you know, a, a secondary press offense. Um, uh, can we inbound the ball uh, against pressure? Um, all those things that, that are, are so important to winning games. Tim, what's your reaction to Julian? Do you think maybe that's a player of the year? Long, long time coming. Long time coming. Three years late, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, when he's the best defender that I've coached in 38 years pro or college. Um, I, I've got to believe that he should be the best in Conference USA, uh, and uh, he's uh, he, it's been so refreshing to come to work every single day. It's going to be full-fledged effort, and that's what we're going to miss a year from now. We can replace his points. It's going to be very, very difficult to replace as well. Cedric, you've been here long enough. How do you approach this week? You know, we got to be focused. Uh, you know, we got to win three games in a row. Uh, conference tournament time, everyone's, you know, playing playing their best basketball. So we're going to have to have a good practice today and get ready to go to Birmingham. Is it a different atmosphere when you get to this week? You know, no. You, you just want to stay focused. You want guys to, you know, really buy into what everyone's doing. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a great practice today. Uh, I'm sure we're going to go over our stuff today because we don't know who we're going to play yet. But, uh, 
We're looking forward to that first game in Birmingham. What's that? Our goal. Our goal is to win the whole thing, man. We want to get to this tournament. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys on the team have the same goal, and that's to go to the tournament. And uh, we just got to win three in a row. That's what we got to do. Your first taste of the postseason. When you think back a year ago at this time, you're you're a high school player, and now you're going to to the postseason in NCAA. It has to be really exciting for you, isn't it? I mean, it's another step, another opportunity to go out there and show everybody that what me and my team can do. So we just got to go out there and play our game and come out on top. Is this something you thought about when you were a high school player having a stage like this? Uh, yeah, I always had big goals for myself, and I wanted to accomplish them. And now that I'm here with my team, now that I have to go to accomplish them because it's put in front of my face, we just got to go out there and take it. What do you think you've learned and progressed as a player in these last few months, your first, first taste of college ball? Ooh, how to be more poised and how to um, know the situation of the game, the time or clock and the points and stuff. So I have to go out there and be a point guard and be a leader and help my team come out on top. What did the seniors tell you what to expect this week? Uh, nobody has really said anything. They just said go out there and play your game.